This is a trophy game for Ohio State. This is a playoff game. You're playing for gold pants, which, by the way, they haven't handed out since 2019. That's a long, long losing streak in, in, in that because, you know, for every year, you for a while there, every year we were handing them out. So that's part of it. You know, obviously, the Big Ten East, I don't think Ohio State celebrates, you know, division championships. But then the Big Ten championship, you know, obviously next door, next week. An opportunity to play that in Indianapolis. So a lot of things on this game. And then I guess the final one, a national championship. An opportunity to be the number one team in the country to go in the playoffs. Now, Georgia could end up being at number one if they end up knocking off Alabama. But an opportunity to be the top team in the playoffs. More than 107,000 have squeezed their high knees <laughs> here into Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor. And what is getting ready to occur now is what we witnessed last week in Columbus. The seniors and final year players, parents have been introduced and are out on the field where the Michigan group has formed their tunnel of pride. And the Michigan football players led by acting head coach Sharon Moore will come onto the field. The Wolverines are wearing all blue with May's numerals. Maze trim and their blue helmets. 13 years is a long drought for a kickoff return. It is. Be nice to see it broken. <laughs> the up returners will be Chip Trainum and Julian Fleming. And Xavier Johnson is deep. Michigan's punter and kickoff man Tommy Doman will have it teed up to kick it from right to left. Ohio State will move left to right as we view it here at Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor, the home of the Wolverines since the 1920s. And everybody is in position, and we are set to get this battle of unbeatens underway. Doman with a kick in the air with a right foot. Xavier Johnson tracks that one, is going to let it bounce in the end zone for a touchback. Kyle McCord, the junior quarterback from Mount Laurel, New Jersey, completing 66% of his passes, 2,899 yards, 22 touchdowns, four interceptions, will be the quarterback bringing the Buckeyes out here. He's number two in the Big Ten in passing efficiency. I'm sorry, in passing yards per game, averaging 263. And number two in percent, the number one guy, J.J. McCarthy, at 73%. Kyle McCord's number two at 66%. Hard line. Moving in motion is Ibuka now on the right side. McCord, the front man of the pistol, gets a low snap, hands it Henderson, running straight ahead. Henderson gets to the 30, and that's all the further he will go as Michigan's Chris Jenkins on the defensive line gets the tackle. Yeah, Sanders still zero, came into the top, was able to put him down. Ohio State's right back to that line of scrimmage. Third and four, Buckeyes at their own 31-yard line. Kyle McCord in an empty backfield, three wide left, two wide right. McCord throws middle of the field, dropped by Ebuka at the Ohio State 40-yard line. As he came off the right flank, the Buckeyes are left to punt. Three and out for Ohio State. That hit the Mecca right in the hands. He's got to come up with that catch. Ohio State, we talked about, came right back to the line of scrimmage after the second, third down, second down play. Got right up for that third and four. Ran that quick play and looked like they had him off guard, but just didn't make the catch. McCord gets the snap, looks to pass, looking left, throws left angle, and it's incomplete. Under throws Harrison to the Michigan 47-yard line. Harrison was covered by linebacker Michael Barrett. It was just a bad throw there because Marvin was wide open. He just missed him by about three yards. Second and 10, Ohio State in their own 37. Now a pistol formation. McCord the snap, hands Travion Henderson, and he runs right into a defender who stops him at the Ohio State 35 defensive end, Josiah Stewart with a tackle. Yeah, big work here on third down, third and ten for Ohio State after passing on first down, getting the incompletion, and no gain by Travion on that second down. Fleming and Ebuka and Stover pinched in tight on the right now. A couple of them will break wide. Marvin Harrison is wide to the left with single coverage. McCord into shotgun with Henderson to his left. Snap McCord. Fakes a handoff, throws to uh, It's intercepted by Michigan. And Michigan's got it inside the Ohio State 20. Kyle McCord will make the tackle. And the Wolverines now are going to have the ball near the five-yard line. And it's been impossible right now to see who came up with it. It was Will Johnson who jumped in front of Marvin Harrison to intercept it. Will Johnson, the cornerback, and Michigan's got it first and goal inside the 10. Well, we talked about you can't have turnovers in this ball game, and that's a terrible place if you're going to have one to have it. Backed up, first coming down. Will Johnson, as you said, just stepped right in front of Marvin Harrison Jr. and got that interception. Buckeye defense, a win here would be holding the three points. It would be, and Kyle McCord threw that through the arms of one of the defensive linemen. Cody Simon has come in as a third linebacker for Ohio State with the anticipation that Michigan may use extra linemen. Quarterback sneak. Fourth and less than one. And that quarterback, J.J. McCarthy, gets under a center. Drake Nugent gets the snap. Hands it to Corum. Going straight ahead. He gets the end zone this time. Touchdown, Blake Corum. A one-yard plunge. His 30, 21st touchdown of the season in Michigan. Thanks to a turnover, takes a 6-0 lead.
Yeah, they went for it on fourth down. Remember last year they went for it on fourth down, backed up, and that kind of turned the ball game. They had a big run, end up scoring on it. And that time, right at the two-inch line, easier decision for Sharon Moore to go with it. They decided to go with it, and Blake Corum made it pay off. So William Wagner, the long snapper, will come out with the PAT unit. Tommy Doman, the punter, is the holder to put the ball down at the 11. And James Turner kicks for the point after. And his kick is up, and it is good. So Michigan strikes first. The Wolverines take a 7-0 lead over Ohio State. 5.36 to play first quarter. Timeout on the field. This is the Ohio State Sports Network from Learfield. The quarterback Kyle McCord. Buckeyes at the Michigan 25. McCord looking to pass. McCord looking. Fires down the right sideline. Stover intercepted, and then it's dropped inside the 5. Thrown for Cade Stover, but linebacker Michael Barrett had the best shot at getting it, and he dropped it. Underthrown. That was underthrown. He should have put a little bit more air on that football. Kyle tried to touch it and just came off a little bit. Not enough. Not enough velocity on that football as he's trying to get it down the field. Julian Fleming and Mecca Ibuka wide left. Marvin Harrison wide right. Tight end Cade Stover slot left. Henderson to the backfield with McCord. On third down, Ohio State at Michigan's 25. McCord gets the ball, looks to throw, looks left, throws left, and it is incomplete at the 20. Underthrown for Emeka Ibuka, covered by corner Josh Wallace. So to be fourth down in the field goal try. Yeah, overall pretty good pass protection there for Kyle. He took his first look out there towards Emeka Ibuka, let the ball go, and just again missed another pass. For McCarthy, who works out of a shotgun. Wilson moving in motion. Stabbed to McCarthy, who sets up, screens it out right side. Woman Wilson catches at his 28-yard line, and corner Denzel Burke forces him out of bounds around the Michigan 35, about a yard shy of the first down to the Michigan 34. Two by two, receivers right and left. McCarthy fakes the handoff, lofts the pass, middle of the field, caught by Loveland, who gets to the 50, and that's where he is knocked down by safety Josh Proctor. At the 50-yard line, it'll be another first down on a pass to tight end Colston Loveland. A.J. McCarthy in the shotgun. Roman Wilson motioning from right to left. Snap to McCarthy. Pressure coming after McCarthy. Throws all being hit. It's caught by Barner, who's tackled at the 40 of Ohio State. Shy of the first down corner, Davison Igbenosin, making the contact with tight end A.J. Barner, getting Michigan just short of the conversion. Yeah, they are shy. About a half a yard shy. We'll see what Michigan decides to do. They're 12 of 16 on third down, fourth down conversions now for the year. They're going to go for it. Yep, with Blake Corum coming in along with an additional wide receiver, Tyler Morris. So to be fourth and one Michigan at the 39 of Ohio State is where that ball is marked. They've got to get to the 38. Corum goes from the right to the left side of his quarterback. McCarthy gets the snap, hands to Corum, leaps, and he'll get the first down as he gets to about the 38-yard line. Linebacker Tommy Eichenberg had the first contact. Now we've got some players needing to be separated, and they are. But Blake Corum goes airborne to get the first down for Michigan. At two for two now on fourth down conversions in this ballgame. Blake Corum's pretty good at that. Yeah, he is. Finding an extra yard. On the defensive front, snapping to McCarthy, who sets back to pass pressure coming. He slides to his right. McCarthy on the run, moves to the 30 of Ohio State, forced out of bounds by safety Josh Proctor at the Buckeye 29-yard line. That is... It looked first glance about a yard shy of the first down, Jim, would you guess? Yeah, I think they're going to give him a good mark. Uh-huh. And they sure are. Oh, my goodness. That ball is going to give Michigan the first down as it's spotted at the Ohio State 28. Yeah, I, where they were putting that down, it was right past the first down mark. We'll take an, another review of that or look at it. And well, Dangerous with his feet. McCarthy, who averages three and a half per carry, picks Boy, it up on the, the ground. It was a first down. Tight ends on each side of the line. Receivers pinched in tight on each side of the line. Yeah, Cody Simon checks in for Jordan Hancock. Get a bigger body in there. So fourth and one. Michigan at the Ohio State 29. McCarthy in the shotgun. Gets the snap. Fakes the handoff. Screens it out right side where it's caught by Loveland. The tight end tackled at the Ohio State 23 by safety Sonny Styles. First down through the air. Well, they're mixing it up. They're doing a good job. Play calling there. Had a couple runs to quorum. That time they hit their tight end. Loveland. Picks up an easy first down. Ball put at the 22 of Ohio State. So the drive will continue for Michigan, who leads at 7-3. Left for J.J. McCarthy, the Michigan quarterback. Gets the snap. He's going to go on top once again. Pressure coming. Throws middle of the field. And it's caught and into the end zone for a touchdown. Oh, Roman Wilson had the ball. But then Denzel Burke comes away with it in the end zone. It's a touchdown. They singled it. He broke the plane. Roman Wilson caught that in a tight spot from J.J. McCarthy. 22-yard TD pass. And Michigan is able to get on the board with a touchdown through the air. Had pressure coming from Jalen Tui Maloa, but he put it between two Buckeye defenders there in a nice spot between Jermaine Matthews and Denzel Burke and into Roman Wilson's hands for a TD. The 11th TD catch of the year for Roman Wilson. So Michigan 
going on the field was a touchdown. The play's under further review. Yeah, we kind of can tell that. So Michigan takes the lead of 13 to 3 over Ohio State for the moment while it is being reviewed. But what a pass by J.J. McCarthy. And did he have complete control of that football crossing the goal line? Looked well, like just, he did. And you know what? And that's all he needed. Yeah. Even though Denzel Burke came away with the football after Roman Wilson hit the ground. J.J. McCarthy just gunned it into the end zone. Wilson caught it. Burke had his hands in there to try and wrestle it away. I don't know, Jim. Did he complete the catch? That's I'm, the key. I'm not certain about that, but... You know, all that tie goes to the runner type of thing. Well, the officials are, Ohio State's looking at the scoreboard, pointing at it, talking to the officials as they're doing that. So we'll see what they come up with here. You know, it's possible they could determine that he may not have had complete, complete control, control when he broke the plane. Uh, that, that's, but, that was a third and ten. And Denzel Burke just came up with it in the end zone right away. Of course, they have a whole lot more looks at it than what the folks at home on TV can see and what the folks in the press box here can see. I think it's going to stand. After review, the going on the field stands. That's touchdown. A touchdown. So J.J. McCarthy to Roman Wilson for the Michigan touchdown. Wagner over the football and ready to snap it for Michigan. Doman ready to put it down. Wagner in position, snaps it, Doman puts it down, Turner's kick is up, and it is good for point number 14. As Michigan now has a 14-3 lead over Ohio State. Timeout with 10-22 to play in the second quarter in Ann Arbor. And Michigan gets quarterback J.J. McCarthy setting the offense with Blake Corum in the backfield with him. Two wide to the right, Loveland and Johnson, single flanker Wilson to the left. McCarthy in the shotgun, gets the snap from Nugent, fakes a handoff, sets up at his 22, being chased. He rolls to the right side and then throws up the right sideline. It's caught near the 50 and going out of bounds is the receiver, Cornelius Johnson, yep. and they say it's a catch. First down, Johnson tight ropes the sideline and makes a tough catch. How about that scramble by J.J. McCarthy? Had some pressure applied on the defensive ends by Ohio State, but he's able to roll out to his right towards the Michigan sideline and put a nice pass on the Cornelius Johnson. The snap will come from William Wagner from the Michigan 49. Gets it to Doman, who puts the punt in the air from his 38. Emeka Ibuka waves for a fair catch, drifting to his left. That ball's going to bounce inside the five, and Michigan's going to get it down around the two-yard line. Quentin Johnson, defensive back, tracked that ball down. So Ohio State will have a long field to navigate with 3.23 to play until halftime. Timeout on the field with a score 14-10 to 10 favor Michigan. This is the Ohio State Sports Network from Learfield. Second and eight, Ohio State at their own four. Kyle McCord under center with a snap. Hands to Chip Trainum. Moving ahead and Trainum gets to about the five, and that's about it as the stop is made by lineman Chris Jenkins. Kyle McCord in a shotgun. Chip Trainum in the backfield with him. McCord gets the snap. Sets up shop of the 50. Now throws a short pass incomplete for Trainum. Middle of the field around the Michigan 38-yard line. But McCord also had defensive pressure from lineman Chris Jenkins. Boy, he did. If he could have thrown that in front of Chip Trainum, Chip would still be running. He threw it behind him. End up being an incomplete pass. You know, Chip goes in there, checks the block. Opportunity for a big play there. We're just missing. We're off a little bit. Ford along with Travion Henderson. McCord to throw from the 50. Screens the left side. Henderson's got it at the Michigan 40. Blown up and stopped. Old Mike Sain was still defensive back. Stopped him at the Michigan 41 as he had a target right on Travion Henderson, and he hit the target. Yeah, and Travion, when he caught that, had some steam going. He was ready to turn it upfield. And here go the Buckeyes right to the line of scrimmage, looking at third and nine to the Michigan 41. Two wide to the right. Fleming flanked left. McCord in the shotgun. Gets a quick snap. McCord to throw, looks, fires left side, caught Cade Stover, tackled to the Michigan 35-yard line is Cade Stover by linebacker Michael Barrett. The clock's ticking down to 34 seconds. I would see, uh, uh, i got to think in Ohio State, maybe going to attempt a field goal here, drain some know. time off the clock. Boy, Travion Henderson looks like he's in a bad way about something. I don't know if he's hurt. He wants to go for it probably. It is fourth and two, Ohio State with the ball at the Michigan 34-yard line. They're letting the clock wind down. The yep. long of the year for Jaden Fielding is 47 regarding a field goal. This and would be 51. Seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds, four, three, and the clock is stopped. But this is now Jaden Fielding's long in high school, and according to the notes that we got, we were told that he never missed a kick in high school. And let me double-check it here. I believe, Jim, his long in high school, in a, yes, it was a 50-yarder. Yeah, but don't they have that little two-inch block in high school you kick off of? Do they? I, boy, 
You're telling me something I didn't know. Yeah, they used to. <laughs> so to be a 52-yard try for Jaden Fielding to get Ohio State within one of Michigan's lead. John Furman to snap it. Jesse Mirko to spot it at the 42. Furman in position over the ball. Snaps it. Mirko spots it. The kick for 52 for Fielding in the air toward the uprights, and he misses it. And the half will come to an end with Michigan holding a lead of 14 to 10 over Ohio State here in Ann Arbor. Stay tuned. Skip Mossick will have our halftime show coming up next. Again, it's a 14 to 10 Michigan lead over Ohio State. This is the Ohio State Sports Network from Learfield. J.J. McCarthy in a shotgun with Blake Corum to his left-hand side. And McCarthy's going to throw to the right. Guns or it's caught by the tight end, Loveland. Breaks off a defender and moves all the way to the Michigan 42, where he has tackled Colston Loveland. Boy, he, he was locked up at first corner. Denzel Burke finally brought him down. First down, Michigan to Colston Loveland. Yeah, it's a rare missed tackle there by Tommy Eichenberg. Eichenberg had him on coverage there. And as he caught that pass, Loveland cut back to the inside. And Tommy just overran him and missed the tackle. First down, Michigan to their own 43-yard line. So their first play is a successful one. Kalel Mullings is now in. One of the three running backs that gets a lot of the run for Michigan. He'll line up in the backfield, and they have also changed quarterbacks. They have gone to Alex Orgy at quarterback. Orgy is straight behind center to take the snap. Gets it, fakes a handoff, takes off running right side. Orgy slips through to the 50, goes right side to the Ohio State 40, shoved out of bounds by Josh Proctor around the Ohio State 35-yard line, and how about that? Yeah, I haven't seen him play a whole lot this year. He hasn't played a whole lot, but, boy, he really did something there that caught Ohio State completely off guard. Yeah, they had a counter play, quarterback run all the way, and he's able to turn the corner. William Wagner, the long snapper. The punter is Tommy Doman, who will spot it at the 40. So James Turner, who's 9 for 11 on the year, is going to try a 50-yard field goal. Wagner over the ball, getting ready to snap it put down and a kick by Turner is in the air toward the uprights and Turner hits it 50 yard field goal by James Turner and it's a 17 to 10 Michigan lead over Ohio State Buckeye football is brought to you in part by Encova Insurance for all the home and life and circling you with solutions you can trust Marvin Harrison flanked out to the left pocket of receivers on the line to the right fake handoff McCord looks to throw steps up through the pocket and he sacked at his own 21 yard line and it's Mason Graham defensive lineman who comes up with a Michigan sack. Well, they tried to get a play-action pass going, tried to get something a little bit deep. You saw the fake handoff. As Kyle went back, started looking downfield. Number 55, Mason Graham, was there to pick him up, picking up his third sack of the season. Greens. McCarthy gets the snap, drops back at his 22 to pass. Quick toss, right side, caught. Receiver dumped at his own 40. Colston Loveland with a catch. Linebacker Steel Chambers couldn't quite get to him. And Colston Loveland with a first down grab for the Wolverines. Yeah, he's a really good tight end, Colston Loveland. He came on last year as a freshman, but just continues to get better and better each year and each game. Had his first career TD in Columbus against Ohio State last November. First down, Michigan to their own 40 yard line with four and a half to play third quarter in a tie football game. Back. And the quarterback, McCarthy, back to pass. McCarthy looks. He now rolls to his right, being chased. McCarthy running to his own 40, to the 45. Weaves to the 50-yard line, gets to the Ohio State 40, where he goes down in front of safety, Josh Proctor. And that's the threat J.J. McCarthy brings. He can run, and he does so, giving Michigan a first down. Yeah, Kenyatta Jackson had him in the backfield, was rushing at that left defensive end, then lost contain towards the Ohio State sideline, and J.J. made him pay. Donovan Edwards back into tailback. He's to the right of quarterback J.J. McCarthy. Four down on the front for Ohio State. Morris, the receiver, moving in motion right to left. McCarthy back to throw. McCarthy looks. Archer's head down the right side. He hits Barner, the tight end, who scoots to the Ohio State 30. Weaves his way to the Buckeye 22, where he's stopped by corner Denzel Burke. And A.J. Barner, the Indiana transfer, gives Michigan the first down on the run. But there is an injured Wolverine lineman down on the field, back near the line of scrimmage. It's like number 65, Paul. Zinter is down. But A.J. Barner, who played 42 games at Indiana, gets the big gain. And we'll have a timeout with 2.19 to play in the third quarter. Ohio State and Michigan tied at 17. This is the Ohio State Sports Network from Learfield. Yeah, there's a, probably a huddle of at least 15 people around Zach Zinter right now. He got rolled up. Uh, nothing he could do. He had a defender behind him. He got pushed over. And uh, looks like a lower leg injury probably. With the air cast that they're getting out, probably a broken one. Oh, as fierce as it is, nobody no wants, wants to see, see that. that. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right, Paul. 
As Inter get loaded up on the uh, Gator right now. And he gives a raised arm to those that have been chanting in support of him. Yeah, you knew it was bad right away. All the players reacted, oh. pointing towards the sidelines. And he gives another raised arm and probably a thumbs up. So that draws a cheer from the crowd. And things will resume now with Michigan first and 10 at the Ohio State 22-yard line as J.J. McCarthy completed a pass to A.J. Barner. For 18 yards. Hmm. So there goes Zach Zinner being wheeled up to the tunnel. Down on the field to Dave Holmes. Guys, Zach Zinter is going by me right now on the cart. His family's here. Ryan Day actually ran up the tunnel to meet Zinter's family and shake their hand and give them a hug and, and wish his best for the son. So as Zinter injured, they moved uh, Barnhart over to uh, guard and brought in Trent a. Jones to play right tackle. J.J. McCarthy gets the offense set for Michigan with Blake Corum behind him at tailback. Two wides to the right, Johnson and Wilson. Bredesen, a tight end, will motion from right to left and go back to the right. Snap McCarthy, hands it to Corum, going straight up the middle. Corum with the room this time. Slips left side to the 10, gets to the 5, and hits the end zone for a 22-yard touchdown run from Michigan's Blake Corum, and the Wolverines back in front, 23-17. Well, he's just talking about his longest gain was five yards for the ball game, but that time he broke it out to the left. Sonny Styles in position, missed the tackle, and Corum gets into the end zone. His second touchdown run today, Blake Corum of Michigan, his 22nd of the season. And the Wolverines lead at 23-17 with a minute 55 to play in the third quarter. All of that after a long injury stop to Zach Zinter. PAT unit on, William Wagner to snap. Tommy Doman to put it down for James Turner. His kick for the PAT is up, and it is good, and it's a 24-17 Michigan lead over Ohio State. So the Buckeyes will get a chance to try and answer. Well, Michigan answered was was exactly what they did. They, they took that drive after Ohio State scored to tie up the ball game and come back right down to get the 24th point of the game. That's the most that Ohio State's given up this year. The previous was 17, and they just went through that barrier with that last touchdown by Corum. So now the Ohio State's offense has to go put it back in gear and see if they can answer with a drive. Blake Corum, number two all-time rushing touchdowns at Michigan with 52 of them. Travion Henderson, the single setback. Single wideouts right and left. Slot receiver Johnson will move from right to left. McCord, the snap, pitches Henderson, running left side. Gets behind a Stover block. Edges to his own 25 and goes down at about his own 26-yard line. Michigan's Chris Jenkins on the defensive line with a tackle. With a football at their own 26-yard line. Julian Fleming, wide right. Emeka Ibuka and Marvin Harrison, wide left. Now Ibuka will motion to the right. Kyle McCord in the shotgun. Travion Henderson next to him in the backfield. McCord sets up the pass. He looks and hurls that one down to right. Seen for Ibuka. Caught. Dropped. He loses the football. It'll be an incomplete pass. Emeka Ibuka went for a grab at the Michigan 45-yard line. And defensive back Quinton Johnson laid the wood to him to force the incompletion. Yeah, Quinton Johnson timed that up perfect. When the ball was coming there, he was able to get the hit and make sure that he didn't come down with that incompletion. Buckeyes facing a third and nine. With the ball at their own 26-yard line. And with Michigan leading 24-17, the big scoreboard asked the crowd for a little more noise, and they accommodate him. Kyle McCord in the shotgun. Two-by-two receivers. McCord back to pass. Pressure coming. McCord steps up, throws incomplete. Bounced it in front of Cade Stover at the Michigan 30-yard line. Stover was covered by defensive end Derek Moore. Fourth down, Buckeyes will punt. Now three and out for the Buckeyes. Could not answer there. Could not make a play. Ran it once on first down. Came back with two pass plays, two incompletions, and punt this ball away. After having their best drive of the game, they came out with a stinker there. First and 10, Michigan of their own 46. Pitch will go Donovan Edwards running right side. Now he stops to throw. Floats it downfield. Loveland wide open to the Ohio State 30. Tackled at the Ohio State 20 by safety Sonny Styles. Donovan Edwards, who's thrown a TD pass in his career, Completes the TD pass to Colston Loveland. A big game for Michigan. We talked about in the pregame, a special play. They dialed one up there. First play of the fourth quarter. Had a little halfback pass. And again, something they've used throughout the year. And wide open, Loveland. And it's first and ten, Michigan, at the Ohio State 20-yard line. Colston Loveland. Sophomore tight end from Gooding, Idaho. He's been a big threat today. Put it down at the 28-yard line. It snaps, spotted. The kick for a 38-yard field goal is in the air for Michigan, and Turner knocks it through. And that increases Michigan's lead to 27 to 17 over Ohio State. Timeout on the field with 11:57 left in the game. This is the Ohio State Sports Network from Learfield. We'll come wide to the left. McCord in the shotgun. 
Takes the pitch out to the right. Now screens on the right side. Henderson batted and incomplete. That ball was deflected by defensive lineman Derek Moore, it appeared. Yeah, number eight, Derek Moore got his left hand up and, as you said, deflected that pass. McCord gets the snap. Hands Travion Henderson running right side. He stood up and is going to be slowed and stopped right around the 14-yard line. Michigan was ready, and it was Kenneth Grant, defensive lineman, who plugged that hole. With J.J. McCarthy, who's in the gun. Now Wilson motioning to left. McCarthy going to pass, looking left. Throws left side, and it's caught by Cornelius Johnson right at the 35 where he's stuck and stopped by corner Jordan Hancock, and it looks like Michigan will get the first down. J.J. McCarthy put it on the money. He's 15 and 19 throwing the football. Just missed three passes. That one's just a small completion for three yards, but they only needed two. Yes. So the ball's put at the Michigan 36, and the chains will move. Now straight behind him is running like Blake Corum, who gets the give. Corum running up the middle, and Corum's going to be stopped by safety. Sonny Styles at the Michigan 42-yard line. Yeah, too much. Too much on first down. Gain of seven, so that opens up everything here on second down. Snap McCarthy. Hands Edwards going to the left side, and Edwards is going to be stopped and gains the first down, pushing the pile up near the 50-yard line. Finally, it all comes to an end. As Michigan just continues to churn up valuable yards on the ground, that stop was eventually made by linebacker Steel Chambers. First down, Wolverines. And ticking that clock yes. now under five minutes. So, And McCarthy in a shotgun. Corum in the backfield with him. And McCarthy rolling to his right, looking to throw. He's at his own 45. McCarthy throws back middle of the field, and it is caught by Cornelius Johnson, who falls down to the Ohio State 44 as he got himself inside of linebacker Steel Chambers, and Johnson's got Michigan Short. close to yeah. another first down. Boy, that should have been picked off. Thrown late, back across your face into the middle. I know Steel Chambers was thinking he should have had something there, but what a catch here by Cornelius Johnson to grab that in with his fingertips. Now Coram shifts to the left side, gets the handoff, runs straight ahead, and he'll gain the first down. Linebacker Tommy Eigenberg stops him at the Ohio State 40. Blake Coram moves the sticks again, and it's not looking good for Ohio State. Third first down on this drive, and they're going to get close to field goal range if you don't get some stops here, some negative plays. They had a third and two they converted, a third and one they converted. Got to get them backed up. You can't get them let. You know, they're getting too much on first down. You know, as I talked about, they got like seven yards on the last first down. That's easy to convert. 2-34 and counting fourth quarter. First down Michigan at Ohio State's 39. The Wolverines lead it 27-24. to Tyler Morris off the line to the left with two tight ends. Single flanker Johnson to the right. And McCarthy under center. Hands it to Blake Corm wide to the left, and he's got room. He gets to the Ohio State 30. Denzel Burke and Sonny Styles will tackle him at the Ohio State 26. Blake Corum got wide open going around the left side, and he secures another Michigan first down. Yeah, they tried to get a bunch of guys inside, and then Corum saw that. First time out, Ohio State. Her first. And a timeout on the field with 2.07 left in the game. Doman ready at the 27 to put it down. Wagner set to snap it. Wagner snaps, Doman spots, kick by Turner in the air. That one toward the uprights, and it's good. 37-yard field goal by James Turner of Michigan. So that increases their lead to 30-24 to over Ohio State with 105 remaining in the game. Well, they got a chance. They got a chance. It's, you know, something that... You kept them out of the end zone from getting a touchdown. Otherwise, the game would have been over. You kept them a little time left on the clock. You used all your timeouts, so you would have a minute and five to go down. And you got Marvin Harrison on your team. You got Travion Henderson. You got Kay Stover. All three of those guys got to see if they can come up and make some plays here. But it's going to get loud. It sure is. With one minute exactly remaining in the game, Ohio State will have it first and 10 of their own 19, trailing 30 to 24. So you want to be a football player, huh? (laughs) (laughs) Want to be a hero. Well, we saw a hero-type finish at Notre Dame for this Ohio State team. (laughs) Kyle McCord has thrown two TDs. He's thrown an interception. He'll start this drive at his own 19 and a shotgun. Travion Henderson off to his left. Michigan adjusting defensively. McCord back to pass from his 10. McCord being chased. Throws it on the left side. Caught Stover. Drops the football at the 20. Then Henderson falls on it. It'll be an incomplete pass. Mike Sainer still, defensive back, came up and laid into Cade Stover, forcing the incompletion. Quarterback Kyle McCord started off with two men in the backfield with him, Xavier Johnson and Travion Henderson. Harrison and Ibuka, wide right. Fleming, wide left. No tight end. McCord surrounded by two backs. 
First and 10, Ohio State of Michigan's 37. McCord back to pass. Cox the arm, hit while throwing up field. Intercepted at the 21-yard line. Intercepted by Rod Moore. Michigan safety, and that's going to do it. And penalty flags thrown as Michigan was celebrating after the pick. Kyle McCord slow to get up. He does his section, second interception to the game. Rod Moore from Clayton Northmont High School in Ohio picks it off, but McCord was hit while delivering the pass. And that ought to seal the deal for Michigan. Yeah, he got hit by Mason Graham. They ran a line After stop. the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, Michigan player 32 removing his helmet, 15-yard penalty. First down, Michigan. The ruling on the field is an interception. 25 seconds on the clock. And Michigan will have the ball. Leading. Ruling on the field. Ruling on the field of an interception is under further review. Well, they're going to re review that Rod Moore interception. If it stands, it would be his second of the season and the sixth of his career. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything as it was gone that it wouldn't be an interception. We'll take another look now. Agree, Jim. It looked like Rod Moore got in it again. Kyle McCord chucked that while he was being hit. It's just only if that he had the ground, you know, involved in that catch. The ball was thrown for Marvin Harrison, but Rod Moore cut right in front of him. I think it's an INT. And pilfered it. So you that's know, two interceptions for Kyle McCord today. Yeah, it's going to be under review, but I think that call will stand. I agree with you. After review, the ruling of an interception is confirmed. First down, Michigan. Well, more than 107,000. Happy about that. Save the Ohio State fans that are here. And as you said, Michigan just has to take a knee. And the penalty is going to back that ball up. At the 10-yard line. Could we see a miracle at the Meadowlands? Yeah. Joe Pizarczyk, Herm Edwards? Probably not. Yeah, it's not over, but it's close to being over. And, of course, the fans enjoying it. The Michigan offense on the field. We see some shaking Ohio State hands. players and yeah. Michigan players shaking hands. Blake McCarthy, or J.J. McCarthy shaking hands with Mike Hall, as well as A.J. Barner. They're going to take a knee. Yes, they are. They're going to surround McCarthy as he gets under center. Takes the snap, takes a knee. That'll burn it off. And Michigan gets their third straight win over Ohio State, and they clinch the Big Ten East. The Wolverines defeat Ohio State 30-24. to here in Ann Arbor as the fans start to storm the field. The Ohio State players are quickly getting to the tunnel to get to their locker room, but turnovers doing Ohio State in today at Michigan. Clinches the Big Ten East. The final, 30-24, to 24, Michigan over Ohio State. This is the Ohio State Sports Network from Learfield.